dear friend of mine just quit his job, a job that paid very well. As a matter of fact, to see his life and lifestyle, one would think that he personified the very essence of success. He had become the dream of every high school student. He had an expensive and beautiful car, dressed extremely well, ate only at the very chic places, and entertained his peers at the very best of manner. Then he quit his job. Why? He felt that his life was great, but his living was suspect. To live his lifestyle to the very best of his ability was costly more than he could ever make. It is that trap of pseudo-success. So he practiced the art of the facade for as long as he could. Then another very dear friend of mine, a Navy pal of mine, did the very same thing, though perhaps for different reasons. What is this world coming to? Are we to just enjoy life, be creative, embrace the moment and relish the gift of being alive? Mary Kay Ash said, and I quote, Some people drift through their entire life. They do it one day at a time, one week at a time, one month at a time. It happens so gradually that they are unaware of how their lives are slipping away until it's too late. Then Arthur Gordon, he said, The individual has always had to struggle to keep from being overwhelmed by the tribe. To be your own man is a hard business. If you try it, you'll be lonely often and sometimes frightened. But no price is too high to pay for the privilege of owning yourself.